Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and this is the Road of the Record weekly review special for week 19 in the second year of the Gaming Decathlon competition. This week I brought in 2,230 points, a little bit of a drop from last week's score, mostly because uh, the season for Draft Day Sports College Basketball ended with a record last week. The new season only partway in, uh, that brought the score down a little bit. Not too far off from the best round score of 2,691, set uh, what, 11 weeks ago now. And the current virtual best actually went down. Uh, I had a rescoring of the recent addition to, to the channel in Imperator Rome, and that rescoring brought that score down a little bit, and I didn't raise the virtual best by much. <laughs> Like very, very marginal games, e gains, even though two games did see an increase, and technically three with Imperator Rome as well, uh, though that rescale brought it down. Uh, it's at 3,144, and the all-time virtual best this week is unchanged, as none of those three games in the top ten uh, saw an increase to their score. Looking at the ten games individually, Imperator Rome, that's where that rescale was. It's at 14 points this week. Through the rescale, last week's total would have been 8. Now, a breakdown of how I scored that and how that rescore has worked. Uh, initially, I was dividing my score by 10. I have rescaled that to divide by 50 now. Uh, main reason for that is I have not experienced late game as of yet. And then looking into that late game... Uh, I had a chance to see the Paradox Development Studio, the, the maker of the game, their own dev clash wrapped up uh, this past week, and I, I was watching the video for that and took a screenshot here re-watching it. The final score at the end of it, this was a multiplayer uh, developer clash, but in that, uh, final scores at the top were 60,000, 50,000, right in there. Now, those scores are scaled in, a, in such a way where a lot of those uh, players kind of helped each other out early on as allies, and it really boosted their scores, and you ended up with, with a map that was essentially, at least for the most part, uh, nothing but players at the end, other than uh, Macedonia intentionally imploding to try to <laughs> stop their border gore. Uh, but anyway... So a max score somewhere around 50,000 is why I rescaled that. So 1,000 points, 50,000 divided by 1,000. But uh, you can see here in the top right corner where that score is located. So that's what I'll be keeping an eye on as I go through that series. Now back to the review. The next game, Draft Day Sports College Basketball. Again, new season underway. Uh, and we're, we're hitting new heights here. So I'm into Conference D for the first time. So I'm into the fourth tier. Uh, really starting to hit that level where we're up against really, really good teams. But I had such a good season last season, at least with our Elite Eight run that we had in the in the March Madness tournament. I lost a bunch of seniors, and I have a very, very young team this year. I'm really nervous about how the season will go. And yet, so far, we're off to a tremendous start. Uh, but as we're entering the conference season... I think that could flip on its head real quick. I don't have depth this year in terms of quality. I do have a decent starting five. It's okay anyway. Uh, and a couple okay backups, but after that, it it falls apart real quick. So uh, hopefully I can finish mid-table and uh, build for next season. Uh, but we'll see how that goes into next week. Draft Day Sports College Football pushing on in the season. I still have zero recruits. But I'm trying something new, going for scraps, going for really, really, really good players that just haven't been recruited by the big schools. And really, really monitoring that. And as soon as there's competition, I know I'm going to get beat. So I move on to that next one and just trying to get after a bunch of really good leftovers or scraps. Uh, we did pick up our third win, so that's 75 points now. It's 25 points for each win earned. No postseason on the horizon, just a couple games left to play, uh, so we will finish below 500. So at most, uh, I could score 25 or 50 points more this season uh, if we win one or two games, or we'll stay at 75. Uh, but I'm hoping this new tactic in recruiting can really help build the program 
going into next season. Motorsport Manager was inactive and actually unintentionally uh, this season, uh, this week. 128 points is where I stayed. Now that one is really simple on the scoring. I'm not even going to show a graphic for it, uh, but constructors points. So I control true two drivers. That's my full team. Each one of them gets their own individual points, but their combined po points total is the constructors points total, and that's what that score is based off of. Mm -hmm. Uh, that one actually can't quite top out at a thousand. Uh, it, it would come up shy. It could get somewhere in the neighborhood of 700. Uh, for that one, at the end of the season, there are points bonuses based on placing to get into the top. I think it's top five uh, in the points at the end of the season. And so there are some points available uh, for that if, if I can get in the top five. Uh, but otherwise, and that adds up to 250 for a driver's championship. Actually, maybe maybe not even that high, because I think it was between first and second adding up to be what you would need it to be. Anyway, uh, on to the next one. Pro Cycling Manager in the career mode, uh, finally surpassing my season one. Yeah, no, season two total uh, of 98 points with a whopping 99. Uh, this one's got a really simple scoring method as well. Uh, I take whatever the super prestige score is of the full team and divide by 10. So 99 points, just shy of 100. Uh, in the pro cyclist mode, I still am sitting on 537 points. I had two more episodes of the Tour de France. Uh, this week, so I'm a little over halfway through it now. No points earned at the Tour de France so far, which means I haven't had any individual stage glory. And actually, not only have I not had glory, but uh, I've been suffering a bit of failure. Uh, I was one second off the yellow jersey in second place, uh, but fitness peak ended, uh, freshness was low, overall fitness was low, and I started to suffer a collapse, and I had a poor time trial, losing a couple minutes. And then I followed it up with a climb that should have suited me well, uh, but it was such a long stage, and the climb was literally right at the finish line, um, where the stamina just kicked my butt, and I was very, very tired by the time we hit the climb. And so my resistance didn't hold, and... I played it right because I was literally right down to my last ounce of energy at the finish line attacking the line. Uh, but again, I ended up losing about a minute and a half uh, to a group that was fresh and, and good on the day and were able to break away. Uh, so I'm down to seventh place at this point uh, here in the Tour de France and, and a little ways behind and uh, in danger of fading from the top. Uh, football Manager 2019 inactive, NBA 2K19 inactive this week, uh, and then Dirt Rally still sitting on, or no, up to 196 points. I think I, no, maybe not. I didn't gain anything this week. Uh, I'm in the middle of a rally season. I had a good race going, but just a couple small mistakes in Spain was all it took to be, instead of about 7th or 8th place, to be 23rd. And they were tiny, tiny mistakes uh, with massive consequences. It's such a difficult stage uh, because there's no room for error. And when you do have that tiny bit of error, uh, it's just the cost is enormous. Uh, I, I had a fast turn going along. I was at the exact right pace, but the rear end slipped just a little bit. And... Uh, touched the curb and instantly rolled. I mean, I barely touched the curb. I mean, it was like uh, like someone tapping you with their finger on your arm, a little flick on the arm, and the car rolled from that. I mean, I mean it was not a hard impact at all. So really unlucky uh, to not get a good result in that race. Uh, F1 2018 career mode. I was at Silverstone this week. Uh, again, that one, 
I made a couple of mistakes and they weren't small. <laughs> they were big mistakes. Uh, I jumped the, the start uh, as I was trying to sort out the, what, what buttons the clutch and then starting to prepare and all of a sudden the lights are already four red lights and I'm like, I, my revs weren't where I was supposed to be and my finger slipped off the clutch and jumped the start, ended up with a, a drive-through penalty. And then the second mistake being that as I was entering the pits for the drive-through penalty, I had had a marker on the side that I had used in practice to know where to stop, where to hit the brakes to get under the, the, the pit speed. And yet, as I got into the race and I'm entering, I had the, the painted lines. The painted lines told me when to stop. I stopped before that, but after my marker. And even though I stopped before that, I still came up short and was speeding by about five miles an hour uh, and ended up with a second penalty, a five second uh, stop go, which I used on my pit stop, which I made early, put on tires, put on the, the mediums instead of, or put on the hards instead of mediums. No, it was still the mediums. But I had lost so much time from the drive through penalty and, and the five second stop go uh, that I was about 18 seconds behind and at the end of the race I ended up finishing about 14 seconds uh, behind the next to last car in the grid. I did move up one more spot after I had, uh, ended the episode a few laps before the end of the race uh, as it was clear that I was out of contention. Uh, so I think I ended up finishing in 16th when I easily could have been in the top 10 uh, had I stayed out of trouble uh, and that trouble was entirely of my own doing. <laughs> Uh, so again, the overall 2,230 points this week, down a little bit from last week, but again, that was just because of the 165-point drop from where I ended last season in college basketball, uh, and otherwise, I closed that gap down a little bit. Plus, I had that, that Imperator Rome uh, recalculation, which lowered that score a bit. Uh, looking at the all-time virtual uh, top 10, the top 10 was unchanged, no points scored. Again, I only have three active games that are actually in the all-time virtual best. Uh, but outside those three games, looking in, uh, F1 2018 career mode did move up a spot from 12th to 11th. So it's actually now the first game on the outside looking in. Football Manager 2018 right now is currently in 10th place with 344 points. That career mode is sitting on 317. Uh, I do have a couple car upgrades going on to the point, uh, going into the car in the next race or two. Each of those upgrades to the car are worth four points. Uh, so regardless of results, I've got at least another eight points on the way over the next couple of races. And I'll continue to add upgrades to that car uh, down the stretch. So before the end of the season, even if I don't score another point in the championship, I'll have 344. By the way, each point I score in the championship is worth one point for the current season. Uh, that resets at the end of the year as that total goes back down to zero. Uh, and yeah, that, that's it. So uh, somewhat quiet week. Uh, hopefully Motorsport Manager, uh, I, I mentioned that I was planning on having an episode and didn't. Uh, the reason for that was actually some sort of error, some sort of glitch within the game that's causing the game to not run currently. Uh, I don't believe it's related to the actual game file uh, for the playthrough for that series, but I think it has to do with the game itself uh, is experiencing a, a, a bug issue. So uh, by next week, I'll see how that goes, and if it's not... Uh, recovered if it's not uh, experienced an update to the game that's fixing that. Uh, I will start looking into uh, you know reloading the game itself. Uh, and if all else fails, uh, there is a mod that I really, really would like to play uh, on there. And I was kind of looking at maybe doing it at the end of this season, but I uh, part of me wanted to just stick this series out and, and play it through all the way to the end. But there is the uh, Fire Fantasy 2019 mod for Motorsport Manager that brings the current 2019 F1 uh, light up the cars that actually you know, look like the real-life cars 
uh, you know, the, the real drivers, all of that is included. And then as part of that fantasy, instead of having 10 teams, they actually have a couple additional teams uh, that are brought in. So it's 12 teams, 24 riders. Uh, and included in that mod is some variations on, there's a lot more random crashes, uh, mechanical failures, uh, things like that, uh, race by race, that brings a bit more excitement. So there's, there's more... Uh, more yellows, more safety cars, and, and whatnot throughout the course of those races. Uh, that plays into the strategy a, a bit more, uh, and some more wild variation in terms of driver quality uh, and things like that. And like I said, use of real sponsors. And uh, I, I, I'm interested in trying that out. I wanted to try it out on my own, but you have to alter the game files a little bit. I'm, I'm nervous of doing that and then trying to go back and play the series that's going, so I haven't even had a chance to, to try that myself at this point. Uh, otherwise, I, I, I would be doing that on my own time, uh, off camera, playing a series of that. So uh, we'll see. I, I still want this to work. Uh, we'll, we'll see if it does, though. Uh, but that's going to do it for this review special. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, again, these are getting a little bit longer than they've been in the past, but I'm also getting some more views of these. Uh, I, I know it's not gameplay. So in, unless you're a subscriber, you're probably not watching this video and certainly not to that 16-minute mark. If you are uh, somebody who is not a subscriber yet and you've watched all the way to the end of this episode, then you must be interested in what's going on with the channel. And that curiosity should get you to hit that subscribe button uh, but otherwise uh, that's going to do it for this review special and uh, tune in next week bye for now